have the experience of making that not so subtle shift from human doing to human being. Um, they are separate yet together. And in this human experience, we will often shift back and forth and back and forth slowly or with time and spiritual practice almost instantly. So let us affirm that shift right here and allow the world outside the sacred building where spirit was waiting for us. Allow that world to simply bump along all by itself for the next few moments of what we call time. <sighs> and one of the things that aids many, if not most of us, is the breath that automatic thing that we don't even have to remember because the divine spirit inventor whatever you call your highest power installed us installed and it's installed it within us from the get-go you see it in a newborn that has just been waiting to come into the world. You see it in those creatures that find within themselves the ability to adapt and to find their version of the love that not only we seek but as we continue seeking it, we accept it and stand in it. And seeking it becomes less and less important because it's already here. It's spoken here. It's lived here. As someone once said, it's in there. And so I invite you to take a deep and gentle breath and breathe in some of that. Oh. And we'll do this a couple of times. Do with the mind what the body does when we release our breath. Our body also releases that which it no longer needs. It breathes in what we have sought and found. Ah, and breathes out what we no longer need. Hmm. Our center, our teaching, as it's represented here in the Quad Cities, has chosen to be in concert and in unity, not uniformity, and therein lies the key to the theme of the month, which is paradox. How often in our pure human doing, thinking, reasoning self do we look at 
unity. uniformity as one and the same. The paradox. Jesse Jennings, one of the long-serving ministers in our movement, has made his ministry a life of learning and relearning Ernest Holmes from the inside out. And he hit it right on the nose when he wrote, we long for something that transcends the ordinary. That is the process. All the arts display this yearning. So do the sciences as they pursue a grand comprehensive explanation for the mysteries of the universe, including the human psyche. Philosophy and religion chime in with their stories. All the same, we prize certainty as the journey's end. And that's the great paradox. As soon as we feel we know something, it changes. Or is it we who have changed? We are called to openness, to surprise, astonishment, even occasional disorientation as we explore consciousness and its outcroppings now and forever. So I invite you to look at a situation and put it into one of two categories. Unity, as in connectedness with all parts of yourself and with those who, with whom you choose to be in community. Or uniformity. something that happened that was very large in your life, be it perceived as positive or perceived as negative.
unity. Where is that sweet spot? Only good shall come from this. And I ask you to think about the possibility that seeking love is not the end of the journey, not even close. Because once it is found, and once it has been allowed to be in unity with others, we wake up one moment and realize we no longer are seeking it. We are standing in it. How will you choose to stand in it today? Once again, breathe in the spirit in this room. And gently realize that it is calling. And even as I speak, it is beginning to have its effect on each and every one of us. For that is what we came here to receive. And as we bring this time to a close, I invite you to simply rub your feet along the floor if your eyes have been closed, begin to open them and look around this room and look at the faces of spirit. Namaste.